Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Spencer Simcoe, a 97 percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from Lesson 2 of the Biology 1 module. Be sure to hit pause and try to work this problem out for yourself before watching my explanation. This practice problem asks us to determine which of these three limbic system structures is involved in recollecting fear based off of smell or olfactory sensory information. And in order to answer this question, we have to remember a little bit about the limbic system. So the limbic system is made up of these different structures here. And each of the three that this question is asking us about is part of the limbic system. And they each have their own respective roles. The thalamus is where sensory information comes in and then is diverted to the different parts of the brain where it can be processed. This is true for almost all sensory information, and that's going to be important for answering the question later. The hippocampus is involved in encoding and retrieving memory, and the amygdala is important for regulating emotion, especially fear and anger. So in a situation like this, where a smell is bringing up a memory of fear and emotion, we're definitely going to be involving the amygdala and the hippocampus, since we're involving memory and the emotion fear. And normally, we would potentially think that the thalamus would be involved because of the intake of sensory information. However, in this case, we have to remember how olfactory information works. So in this case, when an aerosolized particle enters the nasal cavity, it's going to come and bind to these olfactory receptors here. These are neurons that actually go straight through this bone. This bone right here is called the cribriform plate. And they're going to synapse right here. This is called the olfactory bulb. And instead of going through the thalamus, they're going to go straight to the olfactory cortex in the brain where they can be processed. This is the only sensory information in the body that bypasses the thalamus. So when we're looking at this practice problem, we're actually not going to be involving the thalamus and only the amygdala for the emotion and the hippocampus for the memory. So the correct answer here would be answer choice C. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.